Hey guys, Damon Hart, the Foxy Home Buyer, and if anyone that you know or you yourself is concerned about foreclosure and looking for the right answers, you came to the right place. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know here right now. So hey guys, we're back, and if you're worried about foreclosure, first thing that I'm going to tell you right off the bat is, depending on where you're on the process, don't, don't freak out, okay? A lot of people, when they hear the F word, they get a little nervous and they say, you know, with all the emotional stigmas that come along with it, it's not a pretty thing. But in reality, when you look at a foreclosure, depending on where you are in the process, it's really a slow process, all right? But I'm going to tell you everything you need to know uh, in order to help navigate through the process without having to go through, you know, a bunch of attorneys and, and all these other people that are pretty much bloodsuckers trying to get your money and and get your property, okay? So first thing, if you're in the 30 day, so you miss one payment to 90 days, you're what's called uh, in the pre-foreclosure uh, part of the foreclosure process. So all that means simply is that you're not really in, you know, you're kind of still in house with the bank. Think of it like a credit card, you missed a few late and you're not quite yet charged off, okay? Nothing's really, you know, you got a few late on your credit, but nothing's really going out of, out, of that, out of the credit card company. Now, once you are in that process, you got a few options, you know? Whatever your financial difficulty might be, if you feel it's something temporary that can be worked out, you know, maybe you just had some downtime at work or had an accident, something like that, work with your lender to try to get them to kind of give you some kind of uh, workaround because they will, you know, in that process. Especially if you stay in communication with them, they're going to work with you to get you caught up, okay? Because they don't they don't want the house back, right? They'll take it back if they have to, but what do they want? They want the payment, right? Thanks for money. So uh, that's what you do. You work it out. Now, if you get to the 90-day beyond point, things get a little bit different, okay? When you get beyond that point, most of the, the folks, uh, and, and if you're watching, you're in that situation where you've received the Liz Pendis, that's where things get a little bit different. Because what that ha what that means is at that point in the process, the bank no longer is uh, so into working it out with the in-house. They're starting to go and get somebody else outside, like an attorney, to start collecting. Okay, So the attorney's like a collections company. They want to get their money before they go and liquidate you, um, you know, down the line. So what they do is they hire an attorney. The attorney will then go through the courts and serve you this notice to tell everybody, hey, we got a collection happening on this guy. If he don't pay soon or she don't pay soon, guess what? We're going to take the house back. So what you then at that point, you'll have a few other options. You can then try to, again, work with the lender to see if they would consider doing some kind of work around what would be kind of known as a loan modification. Now, if you can't get a loan mod, which are super, super hard these days that I've found, um, it's just the way it is. Uh, the, the next best opportunity, alternative from there, if you're not going to do a loan mod, is to try to come up with as much money as you possibly can to get a thing reinstated, okay? And all that is is paying up all the arrearages, getting all that paid off, and you're back to square one, okay? Now, I realize, oh, David. You know, if that person's in foreclosure, they probably don't have the money to get caught up. I realize that. As a matter of fact, I've been there in my own life. So I'm not trying to be light about it, but, I mean, it is what it is. So let's say this. If that person at that point is they can't come up with the money and they're not getting any communication or cooperation from the bank for the loan modification, well, guess what? Your only other opportunity or options are really to sell a house or to stay in it for the long haul and ride it out to the end. Now, here are a couple of the benefits for you, both options. If you're gonna stay in the property and ride it out, which you know is your call, ultimately it's gonna end in either a deed in lieu of foreclosure or a foreclosure sale. Either way, you're gonna end up with a foreclosure on your uh, on your record. Okay, that's that's what it is. Okay. Now, if you are looking for something a little bit more proactive instead of just waiting around, and, you know, it really depends on what your personal preference is, but the other option is you sell your home, okay? Now, there's two ways to sell. If you have some equity in the home, you can sell the home and try to get out of it 
and, and get some money out before you lose it all, or if you don't have any equity in the house or not enough, you can talk with a home buyer uh, and then see if the home buyer will purchase your property. Now, this is not just you know some one of your neighbors. This is somebody who professionally buys properties to help to show you different options to get the debt out of your uh, out of your name. How do you, you know in your in your particular circumstance you want debt relief? So that's going to get you away from the debt. Okay, so that's another option for you. That that's really what you would you would take. You would take either selling it or at some point just riding it out to the end. Okay. Either way, I would always recommend just do something. Just don't sit back and just don't take advice from people that really don't know and don't lie. I mean, it is what it is. This is life, and sometimes you got to run right at the problems, fix them, and then figure out what you're going to do next. All right. So if you're uh, Looking for more information on uh, foreclosures and what to do in the situation. I hope this was helpful. And remember, you know, if you ever, ever are so stuck that you need to get some more information and you want to go to an attorney, just make sure when you talk to an attorney that's giving you advice, find out what kind of foreclosure background that they have. And above all else, get references of people they actually worked with. And then, and then you know, take those files and then see where they ended up. Find out well, what happened with that person. Because if they're saying that they can help you save your house and all their people ended up in foreclosure, then guess what? How's it going to be different for you? Just saying. So with that, I want to just let you guys know that if you or someone that you know is in foreclosure, don't stress depending on what the process is. Just get into action. And I hope those tips definitely help you. So for now, this is David Hart, the Fossey Home Buyer. Again, Reminding you that if you need to get out of your box and sell, you better call that box. All right? Till the next one. See you guys.